Brother Branham says in questions and answers on the seals, he said all that's in the book holds that mystery. The book holds that mystery, and the book is only unfolding it now, not each one's name, but what the mystery of the book is while it's calling those names. You understand that now? See, the book doesn't say, now leave veils to be saved in this church age, Ormond Neville, or whoever. No, it don't say that. It just shows the mystery, unfolds the mystery of what the thing is. Now, but I'm saying it's revealing the mystery while it's calling the names. So as it's revealing the mystery, it's calling you. And revealing the mystery is calling you. It's calling your name. Not, not Chad and not Larry and not Bob, not Susie, not any of these names. It's calling the real you down on the inside. It's giving the revelation of the mystery, peeling back the mystery of God, peeling back the mystery of Christ. And something in you says, I reckon that's it. That's me. He's calling me. I'm coming to him. And she said, Master, it's you. Oh, in this day, I want to ask you a question. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for, and what do you expect to see? I'll tell you, be looking for the one that can break the mystery and call your name. Look for the one that can open something up that, that draws you and says, that's the truth, that's me, that's my identity, that's who I am. That's the Lord, amen? It's the Lord that's calling me. Somebody will come to church and hear a preacher. Somebody will come and hear the Lord. Somebody will hear a man speak a couple thousand words, amen, and get a little bit hoarse, amen, and then they'll go home and say, those were good words, and that, that was neat how that come together. But somebody else will go beyond the hoarse voice. Somebody else will go beyond the vessel standing in the pulpit, and they'll say, God was talking to me. God was asking me questions. God was identifying where I was at, and God was calling my name. 